We live in a world that can make us feel like we have to keep going, going and going and because of that I wanted to make this video talking about what gives you rest and relief as based on your 16 personalities type. So depending on your Myers-Briggs personality type you might have different recreational interests. That means there are things that you can do that can help you if you need to recharge, if you feel tired or if you feel exhausted. For the INFJ, I recommend having personal artistic pursuits that you can engage in. That can be, for example, music or playing music or doing art or doing something just for yourself. This should ideally be something you don't necessarily need to share with anyone else. It can be something you just do for yourself. You can also have things that you do to engage in self-care. And these things are important to know because that reminds you that you are an important person too and that you matter. For the INTJ, what I would recommend is engaging in puzzles and problem solving and logical activities that allow you to engage your intellectual mind, but in a casual and recreative main, ma way. Puzzle games and things that just allow you to think and to reason about the world and how it works without any pressure. You don't need to constantly pressure yourself and not everything you do has to put you further on the line of your goals. Some things you need to do can also be there just to help you figure out how things work and just for fun. For the ENTJ, I'd recommend having and engaging in personal exploration, just learning about things for the hell of it, just to figure out how it works. What is that system? What is that new invention? What is that new possibility? Just check it out and see if it could be interesting. Hey, maybe it's cool, maybe it's not, but that doesn't matter. You don't have to think about and immediately think about what the value of it is going to be or how it's going to add to your goal or to your working success. Some things you do should just be there for the sake of inspiration. For the ENFJ, similarly, I'd say engaging in extroverted intuition and exploration and just uh, creative activity can be really positive. Not all ideas have to help people and have to immediately uh, make the world a better place. So allow yourself to engage in fun creativity just for the hell of it. For the ESFP, what I recommend is engaging in and having things and people you hang out with just for the sake of getting to know people. Just for the sake of stepping outside of yourself for a bit. Having people you can talk to and being able to get to know new people is for ESFP one of the primary ways to relax. ESFPs relax the most and gain the most relief when they are able to have and understand and learn about a new person or to meet new people. As an ESTP, what I'd say is try to have projects and goals and things that you do just for fun. That could be like something silly like, oh, setting a goal just for the uh, recreational pursuit. That can be like setting a challenge for yourself, like, oh, I'm going to try to run this far, or I'm going to try to uh, climb that mountain, or I'm going to try to do that thing. These kind of like fun ways of engaging in extroverted thinking without pressure, without any form of feeling of pressure that you need to achieve something good for society can be really positive and healthy and show you as an ESTP that, hey, life is about living. And so having these kind of things, I think, can be really rewarding for you. For the ISTP, I'd say like uh, many type personal types, it's good to have a personal set of hobbies and things that you do just because you enjoy it, just because it helps you unwind. That can be having routines and things that you can work on, having, uh, for example, an exercise route or some place you like to go walking or to have a place or something you do on a regular basis just to be able to let go of thoughts about work or uh, self-improvement or things that can sometimes be difficult for you as an ISDP. As an ISFP, similarly, I'd say, these kind of routines can be really healthy and so I can recommend things like artistic pursuits that require attention to detail, knitting, things that just like allow you to use your hands and to do things in a slow and deliberate manner. Engaging in introverted sensing is really healthy for you. For an ENFP, one of the things that I recommend is learning to engage in and connect with people without any form of pressure. You know, Sometimes as an ENFP you might feel like you constantly have to be the entertainer or to, you constantly have to uh, make things happen and that you constantly have to be on the move towards what's next. But sometimes it's nice to just sit down and really chat with somebody like who are you? Like what, what makes you happy? What helps you feel good about yourself? You don't have to constantly be doing, doing and doing. 
So sometimes just being able to talk to people and to chat with others uh, in a light, playful manner, just to get to know them, can be really helpful for you to recharge. As an ENTP, one way to relax that I would really recommend is having, like the ESTP, healthy projects that you engage in just for fun. Setting goals for yourself, like, oh, beating that video game or getting the highest score in that or like figuring out like some things to do. That can be like a way for an ENTP to relax. ENTPs often enjoy having these playful ways of engaging in extroverted thinking, you know, just doing things uh, not with a goal, not to achieve money, not to get something, <laughs> uh, but just because, hey, it sounds fun, you know. For the INTP. One thing that I recommend is uh, engaging in philosophical thought and existential discussions. INTPs often experience a sense of relief and recharge by thinking about the universe, the mysteries of life, why we're here, what we're supposed to do. And these kind of fun and philosophical dilemmas often help the, e the INTP just kind of escape from thoughts about work or other things that can be annoying at times. <laughs> and hey, it doesn't have to translate to anything meaningful, it's just because you enjoy it. There are things we have to do in life, hobbies that we need to have just because they're enjoyable, not because they lead to monetary value or something like that. Similarly, an INFP might engage in a lot of daydreaming and a lot of times INFPs feel like, oh, they should feel guilty about this. They should, they should stop daydreaming. But for an INFP, having an inner world of your own, having this own inner universe, having these own like fantasy explorations can be really positive and really healthy as long as they don't take over your life. So being able to have and to allow yourself to have this world in a healthy environment and to a healthy amount of time can be really positive and beneficial. It helps you rest and recharge and it helps you take life a little bit less seriously. As an ISTJ, like the INTJ, I recommend exploring an introverted thinking, but in a recreational and relaxing manner, without goal, without expectations. Just engage in puzzles and thinking and figuring things out or uh, trivia or things that just allow you to kind of just figure out how to solve problems just for fun. You don't need to <laughs> necessarily use it for money or success just because yeah it's interesting and kind of like fun to talk about right? For an ISFJ like the INFJ I'd say it's so important that you have self-care rituals and things that you do for yourself just because you matter just because you're worth it you know not everything has to do be for other people some things can also just be because you like it. <laughs> As an ESFJ, I'd say something really beneficial is being able to sometimes let go of that plan that you have and to just be able to enjoy the moment. It's easy to constantly hyper-focus on other people and making other people happy, but hey, sometimes it's nice to just be able to enjoy the moment too. Sometimes turn off that voice that thinks about how other people perceive you and making other people happy and Instead, just think, hey, am I enjoying myself? Is this fun for me? Do I like this? These kind of thoughts, I think, can be really beneficial for you. Similarly, ESTJs might need to want to sometimes let go of that project for work. It's good that you're driven. It's good that you want to achieve things. But hey, you can't be productive every hour of your waking life. And sometimes having recreational pursuits and things that you do for yourself helps you recharge so that you have more energy, so that you can do more later. So. By hardwiring yourself to also go out into the world and enjoy nature and things that happen in front of you and to let go of the thoughts of doing and achieving things for a second, that can give you inspiration and can help you put yourself in new situations so that you can experience the more balanced state of flow. To learn more about how to balance your state of flow, check out my introduction to the flow code on patreon.com slash Thank you so much for watching this video and see you all in the next one.